Hello everybody, it's Lizzie here. I'm going to do a wig review for you. So, first up today, we are going to try a wig from Natural Image. This one is called Destiny, and the colour is Creamy Glow Rooted. Okay, so first of all, let's take the wig out of its box. Now, these days, this has been a bit of a change recently, a lot of wigs now come packed inside out. There's a reason for that, and that is that it then supposedly takes less messing around and less styling they give you a little information thing here the idea is that it keeps its shape um, and that you have much less to do when you take your wig out of the, back of the box so let's take the hairnet off and let's see what we have here so creamy glow rooted is a very nice blonde color you can probably see here in the light i'll put this on for you in a moment obviously with dark roots. Now, I'm wearing, today I'm wearing a dark wig, but my day-to-day -day wig is a very similar shade to this, so I'm quite interested to see what the style looks like. First of all, let's show you the inside. So, the majority of this wig is wefted, which means you get some airflow through. It's nice and cool on warm days. You've got a, um, a mesh top here, and you have a lace front, which goes into a mono parting. So you have a small area of mono, which means you can only have your parting within, I don't know, a couple of inches either side. But if you keep it there, you have a really nice natural base. Right, so let's give this a try. First of all, when you get a wig out, give it a shake. Take a wide tooth comb, with a little bit of a comb through. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try. So, this one off. And let's put this one on. For any of you who aren't used to wigs, if it's your first time choosing a wig, turn it inside out. The first thing you're going to do is put the front against your forehead and then you're going to pull it back over your head and then adjust. You've got some adjustable tabs right at the back here. These are on Velcro. So if you need to make it a bit smaller or a bit bigger, you can do that. Okay. Right, so adjust the ear tabs over your ears. Bring this around. Okay, so at the moment, the parting is... Let's find the boundaries of this mono parting that we've got on here there and there. So at the moment the parting is more or less in the middle of that strip. So what that means is that you could move the parting line across this way a little bit or across this way a little bit. I'm going to just shift it a little bit across and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, let's even that out a bit. So what you generally find when a wig is brand new is that the parting's not particularly strongly defined. And as you wear it for a little while, you'll find that this opens up a little bit and you see more of the mono base here, which looks just like your scalp. It's such a fine layer of material that you can't see anything other than your scalp. So, what do you think of this? What we have is the lace front. You've got some shorter layers at the front here. So this forms a, a fringe that sort of comes to the side. Obviously you could have it have it trimmed into a fringe if you prefer that. You can imagine that trimmed just above my eyebrows, that would look nice. Or you can have it swept back off your head. And of course the great advantage of so many wigs having lace fronts these days is that you can have it off your forehead. When I was first wearing wigs 25, 30 years ago, this didn't exist. So you had to have a fringe whether you liked it or not. So you've got those shorter layers at the front. You've got a little little bit of shorter layers coming down the side here to sort of chin length and then you've got lovely longer layers here let's do a 360 shall we so there's the front and side and the back <laughs> and from the other side I have to say I really like this. I think this colour is fantastic. I think the the rooted colour looks very natural. Um, it doesn't look harsh 
some rooted styles if you go for the really um, deliberately dyed blonde look. Um, it can look like a really quite a harsh root regrowth. I think this looks quite subtle. I'll tilt my head down so you can see a bit more. Um, and it's it's a it's a funny thing, isn't it? You know, if you had your own hair and you were dyeing it, you'd be rushing off to the hairdressers to get your roots done, probably. In a wig, having a rooted colour actually makes it more natural. Um, it looks like real hair would look when you've had it dyed a few weeks ago and you're, you're getting to the point where you probably need to go to the hairdressers again. So I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of rooted colours. I think they're a, a great new development. Um, but I think this wig's lovely. It's got loads of natural movement. You've not got too much volume, so it doesn't look sort of big and stiff and artificial. It's all moving very nicely at the back there. You've got this light um, wave to the hair further down. And obviously you could wear this a number of ways. It's long enough that you could bring it all round over one side here and have a little fishtail plait or something. That would look nice. You can tie it back. Most wigs, if you tuck the sides right in close to your head, you can tuck it back behind your ears. Maybe have a few bits just hanging down loosely. So if it bothers you having hair around your neck all the time you can always tie this back in a nice loose low ponytail or scrunch it up into a sort of messy bun and just have a few little bits loose down the sides I think that would look really natural so this is a lovely wig as I say it's from Natural Image it's called Destiny the colour is creamy glow rooted thank you